This is for Taurus, so I'm rising in Venus signs. This is for Taurus. My name is the reader to me and all here once again for those of y'all that are new. And welcome to the me and all channel, y'all. Let's see what is coming in for Taurus right now. So we got the fire guardian, ignite your passions. And then we also have the summer. So we have bask in the joy and light. And then we have the high priestess. So we got harness mystical power. And then we also got spring. So we got let your seeds grow. And then we got the she wolf. We got unleash the wild within. So for a lot of my Tauruses, going after a goal is going to be important for you, but also, you know, showing a different side of you. That's going to be important as well. So we do got the winter. Take care of your knees. Now, as we are slowly going into the winter season, we're pretty much almost there. It's pretty cold outside most places. Um, we got trust and thrive in the animal guardian. Trust your instincts. For those of you that do have a pet, it looks like that's your spirit guide in a way. Like this animal is protecting you in a lot of different ways. And then we got the shaman trust in higher forces. So you'll be surprised. At the bottom of the deck, we got the protection guardian. Drop your shields. I do see a feminine energy. Especially for those of my Tauruses that lost the feminine energy, I do see a feminine energy protecting you right now as well. So we got wars and battles and spiritual and religion. Some of y'all are going through some spiritual warfare right now. But some of y'all, it is really hard for you at this moment. Take what energy resonates. And we have the high priest or the high priestess and authority figures. So not only is using your intuition important, but we got a lot of Tauruses that are in criminal justice or some form of law with this police officer, judge. Correctional officer, lawyer, um, paralegal, whatever you do. And we also have karmic relationships. So for a lot of my tourists, a lot of y'all are wondering, like, why am I getting certain energies from this person? Why is this person doing me like this? Well, you're going through a karmic relationship. So all the energies that you've put out into the universe are exactly what you are receiving in return. And I do see someone being there for you. At the bottom of the deck, we do got wisdom. So yes, Taurus, you did go through some type of learning experience. And now you're going to end up having a breakthrough period in your life. And so we have courage, strength, and we also have silence, no contact. So some of y'all are giving someone the silent treatment right now. And we also got the grave, no second chances. And single, not in relationships. So some of y'all decided, you know what? I'm going to just focus on me right now. I don't think I want anything to do with this person. I don't think I want anything to do with this situation. We got the mask. This person wasn't their true self. This person didn't show the correct version of them. They showed you a version of them that you didn't want to see. And we got the players. Like they tried to play you, but you beat them at their own game. For a lot of my tourists. And then we got romantic feelings. And we also have travel, experience new things. And we also have addiction, unhealthy attachment. And we also have text messages unsent. So that's going to be extremely important as well. I do see for a lot of y'all right now at this moment, somebody is unsending some messages. Let's see what else is coming in for a tourist. This is an ex. This is an ex that wants to reach out to you or did reach out. Maybe you ignored them or maybe you rejected them or maybe you just didn't pay them any mind. We got the ex lover. And then we also have reconciliation. This person is wanting to make things right with you, Taurus, but you know, it's up to you if you want to make things right with them or not. This is 100% up to you. So we got healing, releasing, and we also got hurt, agonizing pain. And we also got insecurity. So we got a Taurus that is hurting right now. We got a Taurus that's trying to heal, but also trying to fight an insecurity. Especially for those of y'all that are fighting some form of insecurity right now. So we have magnet attraction and we also have divine intervention time for reflection. And we also have gambling. So we got taking a chance. So that's going to be extremely important as well. It looks like some of y'all are needing to make a risk right now. So we got re relationship connection. We got peace. And we also got bliss of happiness. So for a lot of y'all right now at this time, I do see some of y'all are in a situation to where 
it's like you're manifesting happiness, you're manifesting abundance, but it's just not going the way you want it to go. And we got cheating, brokenhearted, and we got fake meeting. So it looks like you're going to be either confessing that you cheated on somebody or somebody's going to be confessing to you that they actually cheated on you. At the bottom of the deck, we got anxiety. If somebody is very worried about the outcome of this situation, I guess because they're afraid of being rejected or just, you know, they're afraid of not having good energy. So 222 are going to be your angel numbers. Remember your identity. You can do it. 10, 10 are going to be your angel numbers as well. We got some high priestess energy here. So we got expanding consciousness. And 333 are going to be your angel numbers as well. We got ground shield and protect. And 777 seven, are going to be your angel numbers as well. We got heal, abandonment, time to forgive. And 444 four, four are going to be your angel numbers as well. We got trust. So we got allow, listen, and ask. And what's going to be the final angel numbers for Taurus? Three, three, three. So we got clearing core rooms. So with all these energies popping up, right? This is the universe telling you, hey, well, let us help you heal. Forgive who's hurt you, clear those wounds, and we'll bring something new in for you, right? At the bottom of the deck, one, one, one are going to be your angel numbers as well. We got taking responsibility. So this is taking accountability for what part you played in a situation or what you could have done to avoid a situation from growing forward. So just keep that in mind too. So we got vacation and we got no. A lot of y'all were asking if you're going to be going on a trip anytime soon. I hate to tell you towards, but, and this is general of course, but it looks like the answer to that is no. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and also comment and hit that follow button, y'all. I appreciate y'all. For those of my tourists that are resonating, don't forget to send a donation of any amount to the CA. If you're interested in personal services, you can check out the description below if you're on YouTube. If you're on TikTok, you can um, inbox. If you're on YouTube, you can email. So we got the Guardian and we got Water Signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. If you lost a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, they are your guardian angel, regardless of who they were in your life. Some of you are dealing with a narcissist. A lot of you are like, get this narcissist out my life spirit. Give it time. Or if you don't want to give it time, walk away. Can't nobody forcing you to be there. Communicate how you're feeling and let it be known that this isn't what you want and, and separate yourself if that's what you have to do. Some of you are already at a distance with a narcissist anyway. And then for those of you that are, it looks like they're trying to return back into your life. That's the ex that we seen earlier in the reading wanting to come back. And we also have there's someone else. So for those of my Tauruses that needed their confirmation, yes, there is a third party affecting this connection. And the person that you're dealing with could be having a sexual identity crisis. So maybe they're fighting the urge to be gay or bisexual. Maybe they're trying to figure out if they're gay, bisexual, or pansexual. And if this isn't them, then maybe this could be you. Maybe you're starting to get vibes that this person is gay or bisexual. At the bottom of the deck, if you are, the answer to that is yes. They are. I appreciate you, Taurus. Thank you.